We'll guide you through how to connect your Apple Pencil to your iPad 10th generation. It's important to note that the Apple Pencil 2nd generation does not work with the iPad 10th generation because the iPad 10 doesn't have like a bar at the top which you can go and connect it to. But at the moment, the Apple Pencil 1st generation and also the Apple Pencil USB-C does work with it. And newer versions may also, but you should go and check if it's compatible online. So if you've got the USB-C version of the Apple Pencil, all you need to do is pull the end out like this, and that's gonna go and reveal a USB-C plug. You just need to go and grab your USB-C to USB-C cable, which you use to charge your iPad, and then you can go and plug it in. It's pretty simple. But if you've gone and got the first generation Apple Pencil like me, which has got the lightning end, then this means we're gonna need an adapter. So the adapter did come in the box and it looks like this. So as you can see in this end, we've got the lightning. So therefore take off the cap and then plug the lightning end into the Apple Pencil. And then all you need to do is go and plug the USB-C end into here. And then we can go and plug the other end into our iPad. So you can go and plug it in just like that. And when you go and plug it in, a pop-up on your iPad saying, do you want to go and pair it? Just like this, and you need to go and press on pair, just like so, and that's it. You've now connected your Apple Pencil to your iPad. And there are some settings you can check out as well. So click on settings, and then on the left, scroll down until you see Apple Pencil, and you can tap on it. You can see its battery level, and there are some other settings as well. For example, only drawing with the Apple Pencil, you can check out the scribble, and there are some also some pencil gestures as well. And here we are in notes, and just to show you the Apple Pencil working, let me click here, and then we can go and choose some sort of settings at the end here. For example, I'll go and press on this icon here, and then we can go and I'll just unplug my Apple Pencil, and then you can go and start drawing. 